So I've got some gaming tips for you guys. Some really awesome gaming tips that you, you can't share, okay? Just never share these, okay? Because if you do, wait one second, sorry, sorry. What I mean is these gaming tips are like loaded grillers. The amazing appetizer, like the loaded potato and the spicy buffalo chicken and the beefy nacho. That you don't have to share. Hey guys, what is going on? And welcome to this special little video. I'm Kutra, and I'm gonna be giving you guys a few little tips on how to make Portal 2 a little less frustrating. While these tips are geared more towards beginners, they can still be used by people who've played the game a lot. Putting these different tips to use will make it so you master the game faster, and of course, make it less frustrating. Might I remind you guys never to share these tips with anyone. Okay, so here we are in Portal 2, and uh, Portal 2 is probably one of my favorite games of all time as far as puzzle games go. Uh, I don't know why I like it so much, I'm not that great at it, but I know how to get through puzzles regardless of how long it takes. Probably one of the first and more important tips I can give you guys is always observe your surroundings as soon as you get into the map or puzzle. The best way to solve something is to be able to know what's in bounds, what's out of bounds, and what you can and can't get to. So you observe, you know, where the exit is and uh, different methods you might need to get to that exit. Uh, and never, and you know, another thing about that is never assume something is out of your reach. Because if it's there and you can see it and you can place a portal there, it's, you know, probably something you can get to. So the next tip is kind of self-explanatory, but I can't stress the importance very, you know, any more than this. It's always a good idea to learn tile materials and know what you can place on and what you cannot place your portals on because that is probably one of the biggest giveaways to any puzzle in this game is that you need to know, you know, can I put a puzzle, I mean, can I put a portal here? And if I put a portal here, you know, could this lead to something else? So you always have to be aware if you can put a if you can put a portal on there. Um, remember that Moon Rock in Portal 2 is able to coat anywhere. So if you can get it somewhere, you're going to be able, and you get it big enough, you can put a portal there. So that's very important. So learn the materials, and uh, usually when you see a wall full of you know material you can't place a portal on, and then there's a tiny little section that has something there, that's usually kind of a hint to what you need to do to you know get through the puzzle. So always keep that in mind. Now another thing you need to keep in mind when you're looking over these maps is to figure out the different kinds of wirings they have through them. Now when you're trying to open a door sometimes or you're trying to you know, lift a platform or you know, release a companion cube or one of the spheres, you need to actually activate a switch to do so. And the easiest way to find that switch or find you know, where the laser thing goes in to activate it is to follow the wiring. And it, uh, they actually code them by the different doors and stuff to match them up so you don't get too confused. Uh, but that's one of the well, that's one of the easiest ways to solve that kind of puzzles. And uh, watch out sometimes because uh, a lot of the time they actually time stuff. So uh, when you hit the button or you know activate it, it's only going to open for you know a few seconds and that's going to close again. So keep that in mind. So let's say everything is failing. You're just having a miserable time with a puzzle and you can't figure it out no matter what. Probably one of the best things to do, and this is mostly going to go for uh, you know stuff that's all in front of you. Puzzles that are bigger and you can't see everything, it's usually best to just break it down into different sections and go piece by piece. But when you do have it all in front of you, the best thing to do is work it the puzzle from you know backwards to forwards. You start at the very end at the door and you start going backwards because sometimes this will open up different things you didn't see when you're doing the puzzle you know going forwards. And let's say that even this last tip does not help you at all. The best and probably the dirtiest of tips is to cheat. And that would include using no clip. Because then you can just fly all the way to the end and win. No matter what. But might I remind you that that is sick! And on that note, I want to thank everyone for joining me for these Portal 2 tips. I hope they helped you. And if they didn't help you, then meow. Uh, anyway, I want to throw out a special thanks there for uh, Taco Bell for sponsoring this video, and thanks for watching. See you later, guys.